Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Marjorie Delaney and I'm an artist and I'm stuck at home like you are and I know how to cook <laughs> so I thought I would give some tips on how to cook things but I'm gonna well I, I'm just gonna concentrate on acorn squash today and there's other things I'll be cooking but um today for my for me to eat but I'll make those another time but I thought acorn squash is a good way to get something sweet that sort of tastes like Thanksgiving but it's um it's a little sweeter and easier to cook than like pumpkin and usually pumpkin canned pumpkin is like either acorn or butternut squash and I have some butternut squash but I don't want to use that because I'm going to make um some little acorn squash pies and after they're done cooking I'm going to mix them with these really sweet overripe bananas and a bunch of seasonings but for now I'm just gonna cut this up I'm gonna wash it first you know um I have a really nice uh, vegetable washer anyway so So, I don't sponsor brands. <laughs> and I've probably had this sitting in my um, refrigerator for the last, I'm trying to think how long. Like, I think, um, I think, I don't know, <laughs> a week, they last a long time by the way, so if you get one and you're not immediately sure what to do with it, I'm sure you see these all the time in the grocery store, you put them in your refrigerator and you never freaking use them. Well, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow some. There's some seeds inside of here and I want to get to them because there's no frivolous shopping these days. So we're going to go, we're going to go on Mission Impossible. I want you to see what's happening here. So pardon my head being cut off. And, um... This is, I do this with a lot of different squash. Usually I don't do it on a Corel um, plate. So we'll see, let's see what happens. What the heck? Jeez, I thought that we'd have a normal knife. Okay, we don't. And then we have weird jagged things. Okay, so what you wanna do is get like a little groove started. And then you need like a cloth. Okay, hold on. I just want to hold on. Get it in there. Hold on. And then you wanna use <laughs> you wanna use the weight of the thing. And so you just look a lot of people will tell you uh, just peel it and cut it no no that's a nightmare for that to happen I don't want to do that what you want to do is cut it in half and roast it and then it gets very soft and you can use it for anything after you cook it that way, you can use it for soup if you want to go further with it. But we're just going to make, and it, you know what? It wasn't that bad to cut through. I think it's the serrated knife. And so that you see all these, all these. Whoa, shoot, we're going to save all them. Where are we going to put them? I mean, I have, I have to tell you something. I'm obsessed with burning candles. So we're going to put these into one of these 
now defunct candle holders and I'm definitely gonna I found some work buckets around here and I thought well I might as well grow like a little garden and I'll put like I already have the dirt so I'll just put the seeds in in the in the buckets and drill holes in the bottom but I think I'm gonna paint them green first because I don't want just big old ugly white buckets all around okay and so you just get all the seeds out and we're gonna roast this because that's what we do around here and we're probably gonna have box macaroni and cheese again that's right because I lost my love for cooking everything all at the same time. So I just, this this will be enough to do tonight. This is um, safflower oil. I like it because it has a buttery taste to it. And it's really a little more versatile than grapeseed oil or... Um, what am I thinking? A little bit more versatile than grapeseed oil or olive oil. These two particular oils have a, a different taste to them. They don't taste buttery. And I think especially if you're, you know, if you were going to make a soup, I would say the olive oil would be great because that would give it a more savory flavor. But if you're going to make a dessert with this, you should use the safflower oil in here. And we're just going to add sweet spices to it. We're not going to add any garlic or anything like that. So We're going to add a little bit of salt because that will help soften it up. In case you didn't know, salt softens vegetables. So if you're trying to steam and cook vegetables to be crispy, you don't want to, you don't want to add salt. You only add salt when you need to. And we do not need to cook the bananas. There we go. That'll soften those. This is cinnamon. Definitely need that. And as I said, butternuts, this is not butternut. This is shit. <laughs> um, it's acorn squash. <laughs> cinnamon and then pumpkin spice. So that'll really help make this taste like pumpkin pie tarts. And just really saturate it with the spices. I'm going to add a dash. I know not everybody does this, but I'm going to add a dash of tarama because it's actually good for you. There we go. And it'll seep into the veggie. Other thing I'm going to give a dash of that you don't have to give a dash of. I don't give a dash. <laughs> but for me, a little curry. Because the tart will have some flavor to it then. Um, and curry has like a, a, a very, a sort of like deceptively sweet little thing to it. A little cayenne to give it some pop. A little pop. This lighting is terrible with this here. So anyway, don't pay attention to me. Pay attention to the damn squash. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. And then I think I'm gonna add a little paprika. And a bit of chili. But nothing else. Except for a little more cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon. We need more. We need more turmeric and we need more cinnamon. Okay, and then all we do is we get a little bit of foil. Yeah. And we wrap them up. Here. I would like some better lighting. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is the worst angle ever. Like. 
I'm a little bit vain. Okay, so stick them in the middle. Wrap them all around. You can do this in a pan too. I advise turning them this way up. They tend they roast and bake. And then you can put it in the grooves in the oven. I'll show you. I put them in like the middle, the middle shelf. And then I'll make another one. Little pocket. Okay. And when I mix it, I don't know if I have any um, coconut milk or something like that. I might use regular milk. Don't get mad. So I'm going to put this in here. I'll show you where I put them. I put them in the middle. Right in the middle. In the middle, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. In the middle. And then I'm going to turn it to... I like turning shit to 450. It just cooks everything fast. And then um, I thought I'd show you my craft room because I haven't been in here in a while. I've made some headway in here, but it's still... Tonight I'm going to finish it up because this, this is going to be cleared off. You know why? You know what? I'll tell you why. Because I am going to make some motherfucking mess. Some masks. Finally, I'm gonna do some good in the world. I might just give them to grocery store people. I, they don't have to go to like at this point. They don't have to go to like uh, the hospitals. They can go to people I know that are scared and want to use them. I mean, anybody who needs them it doesn't have to be the doctors. So, let's see. Talk to you later. Okay, so it is now time to check on these. And I can pretty much tell that they're done. They smell like pumpkin pies. And what you have to do is you have to squeeze, and if it's soft, then you know it's done. I forgot to tell you how long. Start off with 20 minutes and keep squeezing every 10 after that. So I'm going to get this piping hot out of the oven, and let me turn this off. So, let me think. This is kind of a lot of pumpkin. So, not pumpkin. It's a lot and it's not a lot. I think I'm gonna use this big container right here to mix it all in because I don't have any mixing bowls for some reason. Anyway. <laughs> Let me get the um, pot holder. That's what we need in this. Oops. do is we'll open this. It, this is super hot by the way and there's oil inside so it's going to be hot hot hot. You can wait until it cools down if you want to but I'm going to do it now and then you can see this just almost just squeezes out so easily like it's so soft let me let you see like it's just it's just coming off of there really super easy so that string that you can just put aside get it right off of that peel and it's so soft it smells so good I swear to god it smells like a freaking cookie oh my goodness and you can you can scrape better if you want so just like 
I need a tripod. I ordered something online that I hope will oh, Okay. So I'll do the rest of this. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> do, do, do. recipes that tell you to cut them first. Don't do that. to the flavor. Oh my god, this smells so good. You could also roast this um, over a fire. And I, if I was going to do that, I might, I'm not sure how I'd do it. I might just put it like in a barbecue or, um, hold on. Cooking like that, that's uh, whew, so much easier to clean up. And then we're going to, um, so we got like this down in there. And then we're going to take a couple bananas. I'm just going to do two. Because I don't think we need more than two bananas. And they are not, they're very mushy, but they're very soft and um, there's no, there's no rotten parts. And before I do every single um, thing that I make, I wash my hands. You can add um, sugar if you want to, but I have just the soft bananas and it's just so easy. I don't know how much of that I've got. I'm just going to keep on stirring and squishing. I'm going to get a fork. I'm also going to get that aside. I guess, you know, you could probably use your hand mixer at this time. A whisk. I don't think I have a whisk. I don't know why. I just like... I'm, I've been into keeping my life simpler now, and, you know, you could put this through a blender, but that would, I think, it would ruin the texture of what we're going to do. If I were going to recook this, like a pumpkin pie, I would probably put, like, some kind of, um coconut oil in it or there's some you know sweet condensed milk would make it very pumpkin pie-esque but I'm making okay I'm back I had to do let me bleed some files whatever okay so some sugar in the raw just a little bit of that if you want to make soup don't add any sugar but I'm making tarts I don't know how much sugar I just want to thicken it up a little bit get a little sweet um, I don't think I put in more than a quarter cup plus it's raw sugar so it's going to stay pretty pretty large taste that now okay that's it that Mm, it hit it. Hit it right there. Okay. So, now I'm going to get these little tarts out. <laughs> Just get these little tarts out. Are you little tart, are you? <laughs> Try to put one. 
and I'll put this this in the freezer. Let me see if it shuts. It does, yay! That way I can I can put my carts in there. Little toddy. Now, if you wanted to, you could add some kind of um, whatever kind of milk you use. I suggest condensed milk and mix it together. And that'll make more like a pumpkin pie. But this is not that. This is not a pumpkin pie, darling. This is like a little custard. So, and you know, the reason why I'm doing this is because it's not that I don't believe in having sweets, but I've been eating crazy amounts and I don't think it's good for me. So, I don't know that this is any better for me, okay? But if they have these little caps. So, a little bit of graham cracker pie crust. You put a little lid on it. You put it aside. I'm going to put it in the freezer right away. I have it on the, um, I don't have a lot of stuff in my freezer. And I when it got into a bad habit. Oh, they don't all have those. Oh well. Um, I got into a bad habit of just buying too much frozen foods. So I don't try not to do that anymore. And that way I have more room in my freezer to do slash freezing. Which is like a quick freeze on the on your top shelf. And that, that can be very helpful. Don't get me wrong, I have some frozen soups and stuff that I made. But I'm not going to let those things, I'm not going to let more than like one container of them. I just don't want a big mess of expired foods all the time. Ugh. There's no way to live. Anyway. So one, um, two bananas and one, and they were big bananas, and one acorn squash makes a lot of tarts. And there'll probably be some st leftover stuff too. And with the leftover stuff, you could do a, a, um, you could probably use buy two of these containers of things, or you could do like a. Um, let me think. What can we do with the rest of this? Um, it might make one tart, maybe banana bread base or something. I don't know. But just so I'll show you how you can see it in the freezer. I'm just letting it get really cold. That's why I'm quick freezing it. And then I'll try eating it later. And I'm going to just, I'm going to eat this filling. Because there's not a lot of it. And I want it, and I made it to, nah. Maybe I'll put it. Let me try a, a, a way for presentation. So, I have this. If you don't have any graham crackers, you could just do this. That'll cut some calories too. Alright, right, and this I'm going to um, uh, put in the freezer as well. No reason not to enjoy that too. So I will check in with you later and we'll see how the little tarts turned out. They're so tarty. Okay, well the tarts have chilled. They look like this. 
and then I want to eat them. I'm not going to eat the one with all the just the squash in it because I really love graham crackers. So it's a graham cracker crust pre-made. You could make your own. You could even just have like a piece of graham cracker and put this over top of it. It's good. At least I don't feel like I'm The curry and the turmeric and the cinnamon and the pie spices with it, with the sweet and the sugar, it's good. And it's kind of like... I feel like you could freeze it and have it be like a pumpkin sorbet. Anyway, that's all there is. Have a magical day. And now you know how to make acorn squash easily. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and please share because I'm trying to grow my channel. We're all stuck in this together and I might as well entertain you. <laughs> Have a magical day.